welcome to Houston. It's 5.40 in the a.m. They've just turned the floodlights around. Do you want to do a scan, Peter? So for those of you who live in Willand in the village, here's a skyscraper, a bit different from back home. All right, so welcome, especially if you're the school kids at Willand School. I know Isabel's asked me to make a film for you, so this is why it's going live. Uh, so one of the things we do is warm up, and here's a new one for you can practice. Keeping your hips. So we just sit here, uh, where are we? Yeah, these are called fans. So you sit here like this, on the opposite side. side. You can have your hands down to start off with. At the back, Peter, you can scan around if you want. So I'm just rocking these to side to side. Just try and touch your knee inside your foot there. Then try no hands. As you can see, 5.40 in the morning, buddy. <laughs> All right, then you rock down and, uh, sorry, and just push your hips up there. So that stretches here and here. Then I can sit down, rock over, push forward and re push forward there. Can you come down? I'll go through it a bit quicker today. Down and up. And I just push forward here. That stretches the hip flexor. Now go down. Up. And then you go down and then you just add one more. Just get this moving, get these hips moving in the morning. And I put one hand down and I follow my hand round. This is thoracic spine. Put the other hand down. Uh, as you can see, I'm tight to that. Uh, and then you can just rock over, forward, T spine, follow the hand round. And the hand round. Thanks. Okay, part two of the video from Houston this morning. Um, here's Mr. Stone, he's a PE teacher at, uh, which school is it? Collegiate School in Richmond, Virginia. Collegiate School in Richmond, Virginia. Yep. He's a wrestling coach as well. Uh, and this is Peter. And what do you do, Peter? I'm a cross-country ski coach in Alaska. So here we go. You don't meet that every day in Willand. Right, and uh, Andy's just going to do some skipping. If you watch these guys here, they're both good at skipping. So you watch Peter. That's good skipping. You do all turn Oh, yeah, I'm going to yeah. practice the background and then if you come around and film Andy now. Just keep going with that piece and I'm going to be on the trip. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and here's Andy doing some skipping here. Look how he holds the handles. Have you seen how he holds the handles? Peter, look how Andy holds the handles. He's going outside, sometimes he holds them the other way. Very low down by the hips here. Take two. <laughs> oh, first thing. Okay, so thanks, Andy. So Andy has now established his credibility. I hope you'll all agree that he's good at skipping. Could you show the kids something that we can do? Assuming yeah. they can all do what Peter can do, which is just an alternate skip as well. So once you can do what Peter's doing, an alternate foot skip there, that's fine. Yep, okay. Okay, so I'll do some footwork first and then a little rope work. So yep. our basic jump, and then we go from one foot to the other. And then you could travel with it, you turn your hips. Once we have that, some simple rope tricks, it's as simple as a side swing, that's a double side swing, side swing, side swing, okay, I'll slow that down, so when we're, the rope's coming over, both hands come to one side, both hands come to one side, and we split back in the middle, just use that under time. Simple cross, do you want to have a go at that, Peter? <laughs> In the background. All right. Yeah. Okay, just get your rhythm going first. Nope, not getting the rhythm going. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to show that for 
is that when you see Andy competent, at some stage Andy was like that. Good skipper, but trying skills. Keep trying, keep practicing. It's not perfect at first, just keep going. Now you saw my once, my advanced trip trick here, I missed it twice before I got it, and then I got the rhythm of it, it's just trial and error, okay? So on our cross, one thing to remember when we cross, two things I try to do, I try to put my elbows, bend my elbows together, and put the rope in your pockets. End of the rope in your pockets, elbows together, end of the rope in your pockets, and that creates a nice big U for us to go over. Here, elbows together, hands in the pockets, Rhythm going, elbows together, hands in the pockets. And then just pull it back. Good job. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. Yeah. Okay. So, welcome to Houston again. Peter and I are going to just show you some ideas for warming up uh, thoracic spine, which really gets tight, uh, and shoulders, maybe before we do some overhead work. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, you haven't got a problem with me. My right shoulder's a bit tight, so don't yank me too hard. So the first thing we do, we're going to turn back to back. Okay, so you have to be comfortable. Hands above your head, reach up. And I'm just going to pull Peter's wrist a little bit. So you feel some tension on there, yeah? Yep. Contraction, come around this side, please. A bit. And then tilt to this side. Come around, come a bit closer, sorry, because I'm talking under my arm. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend my legs, and for those of you that I'm going to get my bottom under his, and then if you come around and film from the side, Again. So I pull up first, extend, get my bottom down, and I've got tension on there. And then what action would you call this? It's a hip hinge. So I'm training the hip hinge here. So go easy on me, you say. Right. You pull my wrist up. You get to pull it up. You get under. You, you need some stronger partners. So I pull up, pull up. Get your butt lower than his. Yeah, butt there you go. Tilt. Just tilt. There you go. You hold it or not? It's trouble. Uh, I feel like you're falling off. Okay, that's right. Maybe I need to get lower. Pull. You got to get lower. Gotta get lower. Yeah. You do. Yeah. And there pull. you go. There you go. And pull more. And tilt more. That's it. Now, if you have a look at my back, shape my back's in. That big extension. Thank you. you see that shape I get in. So he's in a good shape in a hinge, practicing a hinge, and I'm in a good shape for extension here. That's simple. That's stage one. Stage two. And lean back a bit. Just leaning back, and then we're just going to rotate around like this. There, and then back the other way. Lean back a bit. So for my liking, we're a bit too close. There's a bit too much slack in the system. So we're going to lean away now and try and yeah. create this tension in the system. Lean back more. So just try and lean back. Lean towards the back. Leaning, and then if you look here, Look at the shape I'm in, so I'm sideways. I'll just uh, I'm in this shape at halfway. Yeah. Yeah. You and then you're a bit you're a bit like this. Okay. So I am push my hip there away. So you have to move your foot. So I'm in this like C shape. Right. Try that again. Lean that way. Lean that way. Jump. Right, exactly. Just like out. Ah, there we go. The same, try and get that same shape around there. And then come back. Feel the difference. A little bit, yeah, yeah. yeah like, once I actually did it on that. So you have to have this right. tension and leading rather than just do it like this. It's fun, but it's not getting the stretch in there. Okay? Good job. Thanks. Thank you.